tell me something about yourself uh, so my name is pushpa garg i was i has completed my article shift from pekan trend and company a delhi based mediocre firm and my major exposure with them were in the statutory audit field uh, related to the real estate manufacturing and consumer related sector where i was involved from planning to the completion stage and i performed walk throughs test of control substantive testing and i was directly assisting my senior partner in preparation of the audit reports and caro reporting and i have also some experience in income tax assessment procedure as well post article ship i was working with bansal shyaman company a rishikesh based firm where i performed statutory audit and some consultancy related works and with my roots from rishikesh i owe my academic strength from there only and currently i am preparing for diploma in ifrs and please let me know anything else you want from my side योकर जो बोला ना उसको मिड साइज बोलिएगा और जो डिप्लोमा इन आई एफ आर एस बोला वो आप एक बार मत बताइएगा कोशिश करेगा नहीं बताने कोई भी चीज आप जो परसीव कर रहा है तो ट्राई टू अवॉइड दैट ओके ठीक है और दूसरा चीज अगर आप गलती कर रहा था जब आई वॉन्टेड जो है ना कंपनी बिकॉज वी कोड मेड ट्रीम कंपनी टू गेट इट टू शायद नहीं बोले आपने ना वो शायद नहीं बोले आपने एंड आई वॉन्टेड यू ज्वाइन दिस प्रोफाइल बिकॉज ऑफ सो एंड सो ये नहीं बताए थे ना ट्रांजेक्शन स्टेप बाय स्टेप by the accounting system from the end to the beginning uh, beginning to the end of the audit what is analytical procedures sir analytical procedure is a uh, is a part of a substantive procedure and uh, here we ascertain we test the financial informations and it comprises of the variance analysis ratio analysis and the comparison from one industry to other industry and one area to another area and we applied it at initial stage as well as on completion stage what is the purpose of doing analytical procedures sir by applying analytical procedure it help in the initial stage when we are applying an analytical procedure uh, we understand the various uh, uh, significant areas where we have to perform our audit and also we uh, we gather the information through which we decide the nature timing and extent of our further audit procedures and at completion stage through an analytical procedure we ascertain the variance and therefore we inform the management uh, we inform such variances to the management and gather the reasons for the same and also it help us in uh, completion of the audit and forming an audit report what were your major observations during your article sheet sir while conducting an audit of a hospitality sector i found that uh, there was a pending litigation against the company in supreme court regarding to the mortgage property but uh, the appropriate provision and disclosures have not been made by the entity and secondly uh, uh, while conducting an audit i found that uh, entity having some uh, there are some bogus entries related to the employees as entities uh, reporting entity already implemented uh, biometric system for the attendance but still many of the employees does not use that and the payment made to the employees are uh, without considering the number of working days of their employees what are the fraud risk factors in an organization sir fraud risk factors are like uh, i gave you some few examples like fake invoices fake bills and uh, incorrect gst uh, uh, incorrect gst computations Asset what are the factors which can uh, what are the factors you see when you see a fraud in an organization what what motivation leads to a fraud in an any organization do you feel uh, first of all sir ineffective controls in the organization uh, there is no uh, when uh, fraud may be arise when there is no proper segregation of duties
please okay this question is important okay what is teaming and leading fraud teaming leading this is something no concept teaming and leading what is that sorry sir i can't recollect it right now but i note this uh, then Let's suppose you need to go to a, a outstation audit, okay? And you're given an assignment to complete at your end, which have you don't have much clue about it, okay? And there is a strong deadline also to complete this on time. How do you ensure the completion of the project in time without delay? What are the steps to you will be doing to make sure that this project is completed on time? And you will do it. Sir, first time. of all, sir, first of all, I discussed it with my senior partner. And the person who pre, uh, who completed the audit of the same org same organization in previous year, and uh, I took some guidance of him. As well as uh, initially, I checked the most risky areas as per my observation and as per the guidelines given by my senior partner. All do you check the completeness in payroll? Sir, completeness in payroll. First of all, I reconcile the payroll register with the pay, uh, payroll register with the pay, uh, employee uh, generals, ledgers, tab balance, and the financial statements. Also, I reconcile the uh, salary slips and uh, salary slips and uh, offer letters given to the employees. How do you ensure the cutoff in payroll? Uh, sir, uh, I will do head count. Like uh, I start with the opening number of employees and I will add uh, uh, new joinees and uh, I will uh, less the resigning employees. That's how I get uh, the number of employees at 31st March. And I will also ensure whether the full and final payments have been made to all the resignees. How do you ensure occurrence in purchases? Sir, for uh, occurrence in purchases, I will uh, do test of details where I ensure whether the, uh, where I ensure that uh, proper purchase order have been made. Uh, I can reconcile the invoices as well as I ensure the three-way process have been properly followed. And uh, uh, proper, uh, I can ensure as well uh, 2B and match it with the 3B of the organization and proper inputs regarding all the purchases have been properly made by the entity, claimed by the entity. How do you value the raw material as per the relevant India's 2? Sir, as per India's 2, the raw material is valued at, uh, sir, valuation of the raw material is dependent upon the valuation of the finished goods. like. If the finished good is selling at a uh, it finished good is valued lower than the cost like NRV, so we valued the inventory uh, raw material on uh, replacement value, cost or replacement value, whichever is lower. And WIP, sir, WIP uh, valuation of WIP is also based upon the value of finished goods. Like uh, if in case uh, we uh, firstly, we took the value of the finished cost of the finished good uh, or NRV, whichever is less. And then the that amount, we less the uh, cost we incurred from WIP to convert it in a finished good. What do you know about the standard on foreign exchange in days? Okay, so, uh, sir. Uh, India's 20, uh, foreign exchange is deal by India's 21. Uh, in for 21, uh, there are many concepts such like as functional currency, uh, the presentation currency, and uh, there is a concept of uh, monetary items and non-monetary items. And monetary items are those items which are revalued at uh, reporting dates at the closing rate. And I can tell you some disclosure requirements as per India's 21. Such like uh, we have to uh, we have to disclose what are is there any difference between the functional currency and presentation currency? So we have to give the reasons for the same, 
and if there are any material if any there in a change in a functional currency we have to also disclose the reasons fact of the same and any fluctuation uh, fluctuation uh, fluctuation loss we recognize through pnl what is icfr testing sir icfr testing uh, is done to ascertain the processes uh, processor processes adopted by the organization to mitigating the risk they identified in their processes so we ask the management their uh, their risk control matrix we also ascertain whether the uh, controls are manual or automated and we ascertain the frequency of applying such uh, controls and uh, uh, being it is a part of a uh, being it is a part of internal audit so but we can't rely on the internal control internal auditor reports we have to check independently and apply our processes on the same so what is revenue leakage sir revenue leakage uh, uh, sir when the controls over the uh, recognition of the revenue is not uh, uh, effective and uh, is not effective like uh, we are earning 100 crore rupees in actual figures, but uh, only reported 90, uh, 90 crore rupees. You can improve this. You can note it down. It is mentioned in your resume only. Actually, you've written revenue leakage. Okay, you have done the audit of hospitality sector. It's mentioned in the uh, new yes, so. commercial drink and hospitality sector. What do you think is the key risk in this sector? Of having in a hospital, yes, yeah, where the fraud or major observations can happen out here, sir. As in hospitality sector, the number of employees are very high, so payroll expenditure is one of the risky areas, as well as uh, there is a huge inventory is used, and uh, it is one of the uh, it is also one of the risky areas. What risky areas in this? What can be the risk out here? So, like in payroll, entity may uh, may show that uh, their payroll expenditure is more than what actually incurred. They can show fake. Uh, um, they can show uh, ghost employees as well. Ghost employees. And the revenue is uh, um, in every audit. Revenue is most significant area as well. Uh, they can uh, the organization can overcast the, their revenues to make their uh, balance, financial statement more uh, more profitable. This can happen in any organization, right? So why yes, only sir. this? Like only hospital. What is the key risk in an only on the hospitality sector? Which is not available in any other sector. Anything you observed during your articles? What area you did in this hospitality sector? What areas you covered? Sir, in hospitality sector, I review the fixed assets. Okay. Inventory. And payroll. As it was the initial days of my article chef. So what what you did out here in hospitality sector? Sir, uh, like uh, I said, I review the fixed assets. Uh, in some of the fixed assets, I uh, observed that the entity took the input uh, to uh, the entity claims reputation on the full value, that is invoice value. Even the entity is claiming the uh, claiming input on the GST amount, which is not appropriate, which is not appropriate as per section 16 of the uh, GST Act. Uh, as well as uh, uh, payroll, I already shared it, but if you want, I can tell you again and uh, inventory for uh, inventory uh, i don't find any such major risk in that what fixed asset you audited during this hospitality sector uh, sir the fixed asset i reviewed uh, during that audit is uh, their hotels i uh, physically uh, i visited the hotels and physically verify that i observe i checked the title deeds and uh, in some of the assets, I took uh, occupancy certificate for removal properties to ascertain the uh, uh, date when we start capitalizing it. 
and i also ascertain that uh, all the uh, expenses incurred to bring the assets in a working condition should be capitalized and uh, all the expenses which are in revenue nature should not be capitalized yeah. and uh, what do you think can affect a going concern of an organization what is the threat to a going concern sir, and how is an auditor can check this yes sir sir as an auditor while conducting an audit I say 500 and, uh, 570 uh, claim the, uh, said that the auditor 570, must uh, consider, guess, 570, yes, sir, 570, 570. So auditor must cons uh, consider all the events and uh, situations that cast a material uh, significant doubt over the going concern of the entity. There are some I can uh, uh, I can tell some indicators such like there is a material uh, there is significant change in the technology. Uh, due to which there is a negative impact over the going concern of the entity uh, emerging of the major competitor which also impact in a negative sense for the going concern of the entity uh, there is a major uh, labor uh, labor strike going on in the entity and uh, the entity uh, loses its market major market share sir uh, in audit report we have to uh, there is a separate section for this we have to report in material uh, murg para paragraph and also we ask the management whether they have any future plans and future cash flow plans to mitigate the risk of mitigate the risk which is going to be happen on their material uh, over their going concern how do you rate how much you rate in in days yourself out of 10 sir, sir i rate myself 7 out of 10 in indias as i scored good in fr also in my ca final group one how much you scored so 72 marks which was your favorite subject in fr in fr so in fr which was your favorite subject chapter sorry chapter okay so sir uh, there are few indians which i like the most such like uh, indians 115 116 uh india 16 in fr which was your main favorite subject chapter sorry fr means uh, favorite sub chapter no sir mm -hmm. in fr yes, financial sir. reporting yes sir uh, the favorite chapters of mine in fr is uh, india's 115 116 and india 16. not in india's in fr financial reporting accounts you got accounts now 72. yes sir Oh, not in India's. Apart from India's, which was your favorite? India's was your favorite in financial reporting. Yes, sir. Uh, in FR, the syllabus is uh, revolves around the India's only. Okay, now only India's is there. Nothing else apart from that. No, from sir. That, sir. There are few chapters like uh, there are few chapters like small chapters like CSR. Okay. Any other chapter was there apart from this? Sir, I didn't uh, recollect it right now. As uh, I left, but it you got seventy two, right? You yes, seventy two. Sentence is very okay. No problem. Okay. So I want to know, like, uh, in this hundred and sixteen, like you, you did in hundred and sixteen. Okay. So, uh, yes, what will be the journal entry in the books of lesser? Sir, in the books of lesser, if it's a uh, finance lease, so the initial entry which uh, lesser will pass is that. Uh, lease receivable account debit to uh, to asset uh, to any gain to any gain and loss he arise from the from such lease secondly after the year end every year end he passes the entry uh, finance income accounts debit uh, oh, sorry so uh, the second entry would be uh, lease receivable account debit to finance income and when he receives the payment from the lessee so he passes the bank cash or bank account debit to uh, lease receivable. What is the discount rate in the books of lessee? Sir, in the books of lessee, first of all, we take the discount rate of the lesser. Uh, the it must be a IRR implicit rate of return, at which uh, and secondly, if in the case when we don't have an uh, IRR of the lesser, we take the uh, incremental borrowing rate of the lessee for accounting purpose. What is virtual certainty in defer tax?
sorry sir i can't recollect it right now okay i'll give you another question like suppose a business is incurring losses right now okay and in the future yes, also we, we think that there can be losses okay whether you will create a yes, dta or not so uh, for this we create a uh, deferred tax asset see now also there is loss and future also there will be loss okay so whether yes, the dt will be created Uh, sir, it depends. We have to uh, estimate uh, right now on the first date only whether uh, in future we're going to have profit or not. In case uh, there is a estimation that we never going to earn a profit, so we can't create DTA. Right. What is the next example? Like uh, what is an example of an external impairment? Indicator. There are few indicators of external impairment. Such like uh, change in the government policies and uh, the, the product of the uh, the product of the organization is not selling in the market and uh, technical uh, technology changes in the market uh, related to such asset. Right. Which was which was a favorite area to do while you're doing audit, sir? While uh, doing an audit. Uh, although I'm involved from planning stage to the completion stage, but uh, in reporting, I have a deep interest reporting area. What excites you in reporting? Uh, sir, as uh, being an auditor, uh, only we have the, uh, we have, uh, we are able to uh, sing, sign the audit report of any entity. No one in India can do it. And on our audit report, the intended uses of the financial statement are actually in life. What do you understand by CAM, key audit matter in audit report? So key audit matters are those matters which uh, are the most significant as per the auditor's judgment. So these matter are only um, picked up by the auditor from the matters which he earlier discussed with our TCWG of the organization. So in audit report, we have a separate section for this as well. Give an example of EOM paragraph and example of OMP paragraph. Okay, sir. Sir, e, in EOM para, there are example like litigation expenses and for, for OM para, sir, being an, like, uh, for example, being an auditor of a cons uh, uh, consolidated or being a para, uh, being an auditor of a parent company, uh, um, if we rely on the audit report of a uh, subs if we rely on the audit, uh, if we rely on the audit report of a subsidiary entity and uh, entities auditor auditor, so we have to mention it in OM para as per SS six hundred and ten. What's unbilled revenue? Sorry, sir. Can you please? Unbilled revenue. Unbilled revenue. Unbilled revenue. Uh, Sir, sorry, I am not uh, much aware about it, but I can answer as per my knowledge. Unbuilt revenue, sir, are those revenue for which uh, invoices are not uh, made or no, uh, proper authorization have not been received? Okay. What are what is this uh, five conditions of finance lease? Sir, for finance lease, there are five conditions such like. Uh, Sir, major useful life of the asset uh, uh, is utilized by the lessee. Uh, after the after the completion of the finance uh, finance lease, uh, lessee have an option to purchase it at a very lower price. And uh, uh, the asset is uh, uh, customized as per the requirement of lessee only. And uh, sir, the if we pre, if we made the uh, discount all the cash flows if the lesser going to receive from the lessee is equal to the fair value of the asset. What are the amendments in the audit report? Sir, in audit report, there are two amendments. First of all, the auditor should review uh, the dividend declared or paid by the entity must in compliance of section 123 of the Companies Act 2013, as well as uh, the auditor must also ensure whether the system followed by the entity for maintaining the books of accounts have also a feature of audit trail and also we have to ensure whether such is operating throughout the year and no tampered 
there is no there will be no tampering in the audit trail as well as uh, books of account by the management during the year let's suppose some goods are expired okay so what yeah. will be you do in the closing stock what will be the treatment of an expired goods in the closing stock hmm. can you please uh... There are some yeah. goods which are expired. For example, some electrical items, which you see they are reaching the expiry stage. Okay. So what will yes, be sir. the valuation? What do you do when you value it in the closing stock? Some goods are on yes, reaching sir. the expiry stage or already expired. For example, it is a medicine shop and some medicines are already expired. Then what will, how will you value it? Sir, um, we can as per India's two. We can evaluate at cost or NRV, NRV, whichever is lower. As uh, there is no, uh, uh, there is no market value for them right now. Uh, um, else, uh, they can sold it as a scrap only. So for this that, is expired uh, medicine. We... This is expired medicine. Yes, Who will eat? Yes, sir. This so is there an is no market medicine. value for the same. Right. Then if it is an expired, so we have to write off it. Yes. Yes. And for example, if there is an electrical item, okay, PNL. if it is an electrical yes. item, okay, AC, and yes, that sir. can be sold at NRV, then? Yeah, so if we, so we, ascertain, we check whether the management have a rival estimate for their scrap value. Accordingly, we will do it. And Good. the management record it on the same in the financial state. We have to check, okay, with type of nature of goods it is. We need to check the nature yes, of goods sir. also, okay, whether it can be realized or not. Okay. What do you think? We uh, why should we hire you? Any two reasons why we should be hiring you? There are twenty candidates more with us. Sir, uh, I bring my uh, uh, I bring my experience of dealing with people on the table, uh, which will very need uh, which will be very helpful for the organization, and uh, I have a good experience in a statutory audit. And it's the same profile for which I am applying for. And I have uh, experience in that, which will be also helpful for the organization. Have you given any interview before this? After qualifying CA? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. It is, it is my first campus interview. Did not practice for interview before. Did not give any interview for the... It's already two months. Sir, as I remember, I only gave interview for... Uh, article ship only before this and post article post uh, uh, result post result for c examination i'm preparing and uh, improving my communication skills and working on it if you join an organization what validation yes, can sir. you do to us sir i am a great uh, team player as well as i'm a great leader as I respect the opinion of others and quite uh, alc quite uh, accommodating while working other, with other, in which uh, uh, I can uh, in which I can motivate other uh, uh, my staff as well and I have a great leadership skills like uh, I can uh, Convince the people to work in best of their uh, abilities, and I have a curiosity to know more. Which location can you work apart from your main location? Like we, you need to be. We want you to travel. Okay, uh, Saturday, Sunday also. There will be late working hours. Are you comfortable with those things? Yes, sir. I'm yes, comfortable sir. with. Currently, I'm in Rishikesh, but I can relocate uh, uh, anywhere in India, most probably in Delhi and Sia. If he, the client demand, work demands, you need to go to any other location, Kerala, Kochi, wherever for the... For no the problem, client. so I can no. re, uh, reallocate as per the work. And our work demands you to work 14 to 16 hours also at the peak season. Are you comfortable with that? No problem, sir. As uh, during my CA final examinations, I have... Uh, Mm -hmm. I work, I studied for 14 to 16 hours as well. So, I can we expect you, your commitment to stay here for longer? We want somebody to stay here long, three to five years. Mm -hmm. 
Can you stay here? Yes, sir. Can we can expect that? Do you have any questions for us? Yeah. Uh, how would uh, where you see uh, as per the interview where you see me after five years if I work with this organization? That is very difficult on the question to answer. That only time will only be able to say. Anything else? Uh, sir, what will be my key roles and uh, responsibilities uh, at present in the organization? I think that you should have uh, gone through the job description. Or, or otherwise, my HR will tell you about it. But you need to do okay, much sir. more execution role right now than you will be, have to do right now. Execution level role. Yeah. I think okay, my sir. HR will get back to you if, the, if they select you for another round. Okay. Till then, whatever you have done, I think... Best luck, best of, best of luck, and also if you have any other interview schedule, best of luck with that also. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.